Okay, we're going to take a look at how many days there are in a Hebrew year. This is chapter 6 of the book of Jubilees. Verse 32 says that the children of Israel were commanded to observe the years according to this reckoning. 364 days. These constitute a complete year. And they will not disturb its time from its days and from its feasts. For everything will fall out in them according to their testimony. And they will not leave out any day nor disturb any feast. In other words, if the calendar is less than 364 days or more than 364 days, then Yah's people would disrupt the seasons, the months, the weeks, the days, the feast days, etc. Now we know that the Gregorian calendar, they have an extra day or two as far as the days that make up the year. They add a day every so often during February. But the true number of days in a year is 364 days. This is the calendar the Creator gave to His people for them to observe while on earth. So if you keep reading on to verse 33, it says that if they do neglect and do not observe them according to His commandment, His commandment, Then they will disturb all their seasons and the years will be dislodged from this order and they will disturb the seasons and the years will be dislodged and they will neglect their ordinances. Verse 34, And all the children of Israel will forget and will not find the path of the years and will forget the new months and seasons and Sabbaths and they will go wrong as to all the order of the years. So it's very important that we keep the calendar 364 days and not 365 or 366 like the Gregorian calendar otherwise you're going to be lost as far as time goes and that's the purpose of the heathen Gregorian calendar is to throw, throw off the people of Yah but also because they have their own days of worship so they like to borrow from the Creator certain things, certain aspects, certain modes of operandi, so to speak. And they like to mix it up with their own way of worship. Alright, this is our second witness, the book of Enoch, chapter 74. If you take a look at verse 10, it tells you that the year is no doubt 364 days. Nothing more, nothing less. It says here in verse 10 that, And if five years are added together, the sun has an overplus of thirty days, and all the days which accrue to it for one of those five years, when they are full, amount to 364 days. So one out of five years amounts to 364 days. In other words, one year is 364 days. And here it is again. In verse 12. It says here that a complete year with perfect justice is in 364 days. So we have two witnesses, the book of Jubilees and the book of Enoch. Both say that the year is 364 days. Okay. This is chapter 82 of the book of Enoch. Verse 6. Again, the year is completed in 364 days. The account thereof is accurate and the recorded reckoning thereof exact. Okay. 
So there it is. Don't go by the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar has an extra day or two, depending. So if you want to get the proper timing on the Sabbaths, the weeks, the months, the years, then go by the 364-day year, not 365 or 366, okay? So I hope this information blesses you for those wondering what's up with the years, why they keep adding days. Well, they add days because they want to throw off the people of the Creator. And as long as you keep going by these heathens' laws, then you're never going to find the truth, all right? So that's all I got for this video. I hope it was informative. As always, not beloved. And until next time, Shalom.